Welcome to the Sports Card Talk Show. To the Sports Card Talk the Show. Sports Card Talk Show with Kevin Anderson and Lauren Walker, the, the Skull, Skull Brothers. Brothers. Welcome to the Sports Card Talk Show. I've um, got a mail day today, which includes a, a rack from our good friend Daisy at Twinsy Trouble. Um, I got a quick little package, and you got a few too. Yeah. yeah. eBay purchases. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Should we jump into Daisy's? Yeah, let's do Daisy's, man. Right, cool. I'm, yeah. It's huge, so I'm kind of uh, uh, I wondering know. what he sent us. Um, in case you don't know, uh, there he is on YouTube. Um, try and link. He had an absolute monster hit. We'll just leave it at that, and <laughs> we'll try and post a link in the description. Yeah, yeah. got to check that out. And then uh, there he is on Instagram. Um, I do know that uh, he said he is um, that going to oh. have to step away for a little while here. but. Uh, Definitely worth checking out um, the uh, the I video be, where he has that monster pull. Holy moly! I might be exaggerating, but that's like a, a sell the card and go buy an island and retire. Type <laughs> <of card. laughs> it's it's up there a ways. <laughs> All right, man. I, I kind of reopened it. Cool. Holy moly! Jeez, Louise! Got a nice. three bricks there, huh? Heck yeah. I um, don't see any notes on anything. Should we maybe do you I, work I, on that one? I'll work yeah, on this one? Yeah, I'm going to work on this one and then just to cool. have it ready. Well, thanks, Stacey, man. We really appreciate it. You reached out, I don't know, not all that long ago and said, hey, I got a couple things for you guys. And yeah, he wasn't kidding. A couple things. Jeez. Oh, this is awesome. Painter's tape. <laughs> yep. Yeah. The good stuff. Too I've already right seen off. one card that I'm in love with. That Dude, this card is awesome. It is a uh, ponder, but it is awesome. I li- Ponder's got a cool autograph, man. Heck yeah, he does. I'm just going to start popping them up. Oh, dude, you're going to love the next one, too. I mean, they're all awesome, but yeah. I'm just going to put it up on the screen and we'll just start going through them, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I think yeah, that's awesome. a, Yeah, that's a cool, cool sign, man. Heck yeah. Let's check that one out while I'm getting ready. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that leads uh, right into Wednesday Wow's kind of. Heck yeah, that thing is awesome. Yeah. Let's see here. I'm kind of doing it on the fly again, so... Oh, that's sweet. Oh, nice craftsman. Of Kirk Cousins. Captain Kirk. Uh, that's awesome. Oh, dude, this is, oh, man. Daisy, holy moly. Not even through the first one yet. Oh, Elements, too. Love that stuff. Is that, is that Madison? or? Yeah, Madison. Okay, cool. 29 cool. of 99. That thing is just Oh, awesome. yeah, it is. That is awesome. Heck, yeah. I like that little Viking and the little Elman yeah. uh, symbol on the top, too. Yeah. That thing is awesome. Yeah, I want to look at that. Yeah, you got to look at that. Oh, Herb. Awesome. A lot of Phoenix. That is a cool-looking card for sure. Oh, man, that is Oh, awesome. wow, and that's uh, that must have been the Redemption card, yeah. maybe. I think it's sick. Yeah, because it's got the the seal on the top. Yep. Nice. Oh, nice. Eleven out of one twenty-five on that one. Yeah, that's the card that I really like. I like those little out of a hundred. Yeah, out of legacy. Yeah, kind of like a mini, almost gypsy queen type card. Yep. Yeah, it's out of legacy this year. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, that's the card. I'm like, oh, cool. That was a cute little card. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, eBay 101. You notice that? No, I didn't. 35 of 35. I, I didn't uh, I didn't finger through them. I, I suppose you just set it up. That thing is awesome looking, dude. Check that one out. Is that Dylan? Yep. Nice. Yeah. 47 wow. to 60 out of Irv. Oh, man, I love Spectre, too. Holy yeah. moly, Daisy. Fifty six and ninety nine, Adam Thielen. Uh, 
Kirk Cousins, 28 or 99. That's nice. Oh, man, I love Phoenix, too. Yeah. Quite honestly, I, I really like Phoenix's parallels. Heck, yeah. This a lot of people, sweet. I've heard a few people, like, say, do we really need another Chrome card? And I'm like, well, I like Phoenix, though. <laughs> I, I love Phoenix is, like, one of my more favorite Chrome cards. Heck, yeah. These are all number two. Yeah, yeah. 134 or 149. This one is five of 199. Sweet looking. Oh, yeah, I love this. I'm terrible, too. Yeah. That one's number two. Yeah, 120 of 200 on this one. On the Dylan Mitchell. Those things are awesome. Yeah. While you were setting it down, it was catching, it was, it catching was, the light. Yeah. yeah. Let's see here, Bucky Hodges. Which one is, is that called? Yeah, Astro. The last one is just a uh, brick, and I'm guessing this is a bunch of base cards, so I don't know if we want to open that up and finger through it. Yeah, maybe if you want to do that, I'll just kind of show the two that I got real quick. And then yeah, yeah. I uh, got, uh, got these for really cheap. Two couple of Jarrett Culvers. Have uh, three Alexander uh, base prisms. Dylan Mitchell base prism. Herb Smith. Herb Smith. Two base herbs. A base Phoenix herb. An Alexander Madison Adrenaline Rush Phoenix base card. Catching Fire. Randy Moss. Nice. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Yeah, I got a couple of Jarrett Culvers. The orange and the green. And that's uh, mosaic. Yeah, mosaic. Yep. Nice. Yeah. I think I got them for like six bucks shipped. So that's not too bad. I like this. Uh, oh, yeah. We'll show that one. Yeah. Cool. Elite series. Heck yeah. Then I got our press proof red, Herb Smith, which is cool. A little. That's a little bit of a pull, I think. You got Jake Browning from Luminance. You know, I really liked Luminance when it first came out, but I've kind of cooled on it. But yeah, but they're, they're still pretty neat cards. Herb Smith XR base, Timeless Talents, Chris Dolman. Oh, nice. The late great Chris Dolman. Robert Smith, Legends. Record book, Paul Krause. So many cool cards. Kirk man. Cousins, Minnesota Legends, John Randall. Oh, that's awesome. And then this last card I like to see on the light under the light too. Oh yeah. That I think that's Elite Series too, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Heck yeah. Good old Captain Kirk again. Oh man, DC, well, can't say thank you enough, man. That is uh way too much. Awesome stuff. Yeah, yeah, man. I'm try to get these back in this team bag. You already opened all yours, huh? Yeah, I only brought one. I uh, saw Daisy's <laughs> package. I'm like, yeah, we won't have time for a lot. Okay, I'm gonna open a couple here. This first one is really cool. Really cool little thing here. It's like from 1964. It's like called Nally's. Potato chip, like you got these with potato chips. They're like a Canadian thing. 1964, I believe that's the uh, Bud Grant, and yep. he was coaching the uh, Blue Bombers in the Canadian Football League. Cool. Before he was a Viking, before he uh, started coaching the Vikings. That's awesome. Man. Yeah, yeah. That's you, you can't find too much Bud Grant stuff, but that's. 
one of the pieces that you can pick up. So mm -hmm. I was always excited to grab one of those. Now, this other one is a guy that I actually I won one auction from him, and he had so many cool cards that I reached out to him and asked if if it was cool if I uh, kept on bidding. And I probably bid. I kept on losing. Like I'd have like five things every day, and I won a few, and then I the the then this uh, I hit a cold streak at the end. Like oh. I don't know if other people had won cards and were doing the trying, same thing. Yeah, because. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I won a lot. This is not the first thing I won. I wish I could. Oh, I'll, I'll mention which one I won first. But this is something I jumped on to. This was a lot. All three of these cards came together. That one. And I have two of those. Oh, okay. But uh, the Bo Jackson 1988 Tops football rookie card. Nice. And I got those for roughly about 10 bucks. So, and uh, yeah, I was excited about that. Because you those sometimes will go for 10 bucks all on their own. Oh, I bet. This guy had a pretty low sc feedback score, so he might learn someday to use uh, nature's <laughs> tape. <laughs> That's a card that I picked up. I don't think I have a Jose Canseco uh, rookie card. Really? Yeah, so uh, I think I won that for like two bucks. So I was pretty, pretty excited to grab that. I mean, I'll have to go back and see if I do or not. You probably have two or five or ten of them. <laughs> this is the card that I originally won, and I oh, won it. Nice. I won that for like two dollars. Oh, nice! Yeah, so that's what caused like I just bit op might have opened the bidding on it and won it for the opening bid. Yeah, and then and I'm like, but the shipping was like four, and I'm like, oh man, I need to win some other cards to justify paying because <laughs> I don't pay that much for my Kirby Puckett rookie cards. Actually got another one of those. Oh, nice. Yeah, and that's crazy because to me, Ronnie Lott is right there in the discussion of one of the greatest safeties of all time. Mm -hmm. And I literally put, picked that up for, you know, under two bucks again. Oh, nice. And, oh, nice. I can't remember. What was he, the Reverend of Defense? Minister of Defense. The Minister of Defense. I, I lost, uh, yeah, another card that I won for a couple bucks. Nice. Under under probably a couple bucks so yeah it was perfect. a nice nice little perfect lot to you know that's a way to uh save some money whenever you're bidding you know for if you you know sometimes i feel like we should try to be educational in what we do but mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah i won one card and you know you reach out to the seller if you reach out you know reaching you know some people are like oh he he doesn't offer that it's like you don't know unless you ask sometimes right. You know, as a seller, you know, if you're more descriptive, you know, you're probably going to make more sales. But if you're a buyer and you're looking to make some deals, reach out to the seller. You know, they're always looking to, they're trying to sell stuff. So, yeah, they, you know, I have hardly ever run into a seller that says, no, I won't combine. Give you, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure why they wouldn't, you know. Well, hmm, I've, I've had a couple that, them. I've had a yeah. couple that, whoa. And yeah, it's like, it's battling oh, though. Okay. Well, I'm going to, try to remember never to bid on your cards ever again yeah. <laughs> and i guess to me it's just kind of like well if you could put four cards in the one same package yeah. for four bucks and and sell four of them would you want to do that yeah yeah well they're going well everyone's gonna buy my cards for a dollar and i'm not gonna make any money they're like thinking part of their making money is that four dollars shipping and it's like once you get to the post office and you sell each one of those separately, you're not making any money and you're wasting more time on those right, cards. Right. So, well, that'll do it, man. We're pushing, yeah. going to be pushing 15 minutes on this mail day. Skull Brothers out. <laughs>